in a Melbourne hotel, a fixer in the underworld of Australia's corrupt trade in skilled and student visas is plying his trade. Okay. Over coffee with an undercover operative, the fixer explains he knows employers willing to create fake jobs for foreigners. Hidden cameras record the conversation as the fixer talks about arranging false paperwork in exchange for cash. <laughs> I've been hearing 50,000 for many years now and our stories we have known people have paid up to $80,000 and they usually pay cash. Melbourne Indian community leader Jasvinder Sidhu knows the man shown in this covert footage filmed for 7.30. Last year this same man messaged him on Facebook offering him a stake in the visa scam scheme. He said very confidently, in any industry, we can get sponsorship and uh, we just have to uh, organize a payment. And he even offered me money. And he said uh, for every case, I think $5,000 he was offering. It's 40 to 45,000 grand. In a series of conversations, the visa fixer asked Jasvinder Sidhu to find new visa applicants among his friends and family back in India. The fixer would then arrange for a corrupt employer to provide the paperwork for a fake job and visa sponsorship. They were offering multiple uh, sponsorships uh, in commercial cookery, uh, in uh, mechanics, IT as well, because he said his boss could arrange um, 457 in, in IT, information technology. The visa scam came as little surprise to Jasvinder Sidhu. He knows of many Indians who've paid large cash sums to corruptly obtain skilled or student visas in an effort to get permanent residency. I've been hearing it for uh, eight, nine years, and the last time I heard was last week, when somebody paid $45,000 cash. Now Sadhu is determined to expose what he's learned about Australia's immigration underworld. These people will then create your fake uh, timesheets, fake pay slips, and they will pay in your bank account, and obviously everything else will also be fake, which is superannuation and other related documents. So you're paying for a fake, a phantom job, and in return you get your skilled visa? Yes. So you are paying extra uh, to get um, uh, or create a job which doesn't exist and to create a service which was never delivered and you're getting permanent residency, which is not fake. This is a real output. What really worries Jasvinder Sidhu is the human cost of the corrupt visa trade revealed by his contact. I knew that he would be exploiting a lot of poor students or uh, people who are looking to migrate. Because we, these people, after paying $50,000, you just need to see the way they live. They live in, you know, 10 people in one house and don't eat properly, and they do uh, maybe work 18 hours a day. We have seen uh, girls being raped by their employers, uh, and we have seen people having injuries at work. For example, their thumb was cut, or uh, they had other ma major injuries, and they uh, did not complain. A girl contacted me, and she sent me her, her report, and she was repeatedly raped at work. And she didn't speak out. Because she was scared she would... Oh, yes, because, her, because permanent residency, uh, I think, is a bigger uh, uh, incentive. I can certainly see why people don't speak up. Um, I've put myself in a position um, where, uh, where I'm exposed uh, as a result of clear misuse of the system. Murphy Pipe and Civil's highly experienced and mobile workforce of more than 1,500 employees are guided by... The rorting of Australia's immigration system has taken place on some of the nation's biggest mining and infrastructure projects. These people aren't just here to work, they're here to get permanent residency. For the first time, Clint Raven is speaking publicly about the hiring practices of his former employer, multinational construction contractor Murphy Pipe and Civil. As a business, we were sponsoring visas for workers as project coordinators, uh, project administrators, where that role didn't exist on our, on our site. Uh, and these people were actually, their actual job was as a labourer on the ground. He was shocked as he dug deeper into what appeared to be blatant visa fraud. We would have employees be sponsored 
as quite a, a senior role, um, but be operating an excavator or um, working as a labourer. Many of these people didn't have the training even to operate machines when they, when they came to the country. Raven said he personally identified at least 30 workers at Murphy Pipe and Civil who appeared to be in breach of migration laws and suspects there were many more, often aided by federal government licensed migration agents. How were they getting away with it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They were working very closely with immigration agents that were uh, requesting they change resumes to, to suit uh, a role better, um, and the, once the they migration agents were in on the in on the scam. Oh, most definitely, yeah. yeah they were advising them on uh, on how they could get a, the loopholes. Raven took his concerns to the immigration department and says they did not appear serious about dealing with the visa rorting. Murphy Pipe and Civil has been fined a mere three and a half thousand dollars and banned from sponsoring more overseas workers which Raven says amounts to a slap on the wrist. In a statement, Murphy Pipe and Civil denied deliberately rorting the visa system and said it was appealing the ban on sponsoring more foreign workers as the ban was wholly unreasonable. The issue is that Australians uh, are missing out on jobs and there are people jumping the queue to gain residency into the country off the back of uh, a mythical labour shortage. Has it been a hard decision for you to speak out? Most definitely, yeah. Why is that? Well, it effectively, I've got a young family, a mortgage like everyone else. But it means that much to you? It does, yes. Jasvinder Sadhu is taking his own risks speaking out. He says there are organised criminals who work with migration rackets who may target him or his family back in India. But like Clint Raven, he too wants the system to change. These people just get away, even if they're caught, uh, media or otherwise uh, through uh, police and things, they, they just go on bail and I think this, the system is very, very easy on these sort of things. It's easy to rot. Yes, very easy to rot. You have 10 ways to rot and then uh, if, if government has one rule, you have actually 10 responses how to basically bypass those rules. The Australian Border Force has spent the last 12 months investigating criminal syndicates involved in visa rorting. But insiders say the problem is massive. One of the Immigration Department's top officials until 2013 has now broken his silence. He says visa rorting was and is endemic and has largely been ignored by politicians focusing on the boat people issue. Joseph Patansky managed investigations for the department for eight years. He wouldn't be interviewed on camera, but has given 7.30 a statement about what he calls the shocking and largely unknown fraud within our working and student visa programs. He describes a world of shonky immigration agents where fraudsters enter the community with ease. He points to immigration law loopholes, major integrity problems, and a department which has struggled to cope with such an attack on the integrity of our systems. Batansky blames a lack of funding and politics. He says it's been easy to deflect the public's attention to boat arrivals, but this fear-mongering has totally ignored where the vast bulk of real fraud is most significantly undermining our immigration programs. Tonight, 7.30 can reveal there are corruption allegations inside the Immigration Department. Its chief, Michael Pizzullo, has referred 132 allegations to the Corruption Watchdog, the Australian Commission for Law Enforcement Integrity. They are just allegations, and the department disputes many of them. They raise the prospect that some officials are involved in the visa rorting. Yes, there's a corruption from top to bottom. Thousands and thousands of people are being sponsored, and they're all fake. The whole system cannot work that smoothly if there's no corruption in the system. Someone on the inside has to know. Oh yes, definitely. Even if you do a, a bit of overspeeding, you are caught. But these, this is a huge um, corruption, huge level of corruption and it, it is so widespread.